Hello everyone. So today we are going to cover uh, Spring Web Client. In this part one, we are going to cover Spring Web Client and how we can make use of uh, Web Client to call other microservices programmatically from a reactive uh, uh, reactive context. So here we are referring to uh, referring to uh, referring from two sites. One is uh, Belding.com and the other one is how to do in Java. And for data part, we are actually using uh, the endpoints exposed uh, from JSON placeholder uh, dot type i code dot com. So that's a place uh, which we can refer uh, for small POCs. We can use their data and their endpoints. So let's get started with this. So yeah, this is the building dot com site, and this is the JSON placeholder dot com. Placeholder dot uh, type i code dot com. Uh, so now we are going to uh, going to get started with the uh, Spring dot uh, io. So here we are going to uh, add the dependencies. First, uh, we are going to give the name as Spring Pro uh, Spring Web Client Project, and dependency we are going to add as Web Flux uh, Spring Web Flux, and the second dependency is Lombok to remove the boilerplate code. Exactly. So now we are going to generate the code. Uh, da, 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 da. So yeah. So here we can refer this site. It's it's very good for all the Spring related articles and even for Java also. Uh, so yeah, our uh, code is downloaded now. Uh, one more thing, caveat or the thing I should tell here is that uh, we will be uh, showing the code a little bit faster. But you can pause it at any place, and you can, you know, copy the code, and you can make it your own. No issues. So, with this, let's get started. So, and also for few examples, uh, for the post example specifically, uh, I'm going to use the earlier uh, tutorial on Webflux. Where we uh, created uh, MongoDB and uh, uh, test database, so we would be referring that for the post uh, post methods or post endpoints, and uh, also uh, we will be having uh, we will be configuring this particular Netty server on 8081's port. So enjoy the ride. Let's uh, check the dependencies uh, which we have added there. So one is Lombok and the other is Webflux starter Webflux. Yeah. So with that, dependencies are properly added here in the build.gradle file. Uh, now let's check. Let's uh, go to our package and create uh, the segregated properly segregated pa packages for model, for service, for resources. And for this tutorial, we are going to refer the comments uh, endpoint uh, from the JSON placeholder. So this one is the comments uh, uh, placeholder uh, comments endpoint. So for this endpoints, we need to have the model called comment model, and uh, uh, this uh, we are having the data add data to generate the you know getter setters for those uh, the, these properties of uh, uh, comments. Uh, model class so yeah we are adding them here
time sake what we are going to do is uh, we are co- copying the uh, get methods from our previous project yeah this this project webflux with mongodb so here we are copying this endpoint and we are pasting it here in our new fresh controller and we are uh, making the respective changes as we have the comment in this context so we are we need to refer the co- uh, comment model and uh, we are going to ha- add these uh, to comment service yeah so we are refactoring and the shortcut for refactoring is just to select the content and then press shift f6 and then rename it so that's pretty much of it and yeah we are uh, alter enter or the alter enter is the way to you know add the add any new resource or uh, the context operation basically to do any context operation we can shortcut is alt enter and uh, it shows the context operation and we can take those actions for time being we are just referring uh, returning a new uh, null but later on we will change it according to the requirement so our first method would be uh, uh, all uh, ret- would be hitting to the uh, comments all comments in that uh, endpoint and would be fetching all the comments and putting everything into the flux and uh, then uh, subscribing to it and then printing over in the uh, in our browser so yeah so that's what we are going try- uh, going to do here so we are uh, as we have seen the ways of you know adding a client so we are referring beldang.com for that part of code and uh, here we are adding that so we are creating an instance of web client through web client builder and uh, by providing the base url then default headers and then uh, you know uh, adding uh, all the things whatever needed for this and then collecting that particular uh, object or uh, whatever we are getting from the web client and then calling uh, our uri on top of that and that uh, we will be that uh, we will collect to the web flux and uh, into the flux and we will be returning that flux from this method so that's what we are trying to achieve here with this code
so now we are going to add another uh, rest endpoint uh, that is for uh, slash post id so we should get by uh, by this uh, endpoint we should get all the list of all the comments for this particular post id whatever we are passing in the argument and the method which we have added is get all comments by post id and uh, earlier remember earlier we had this uh, creating a web client so we have extracted out since it is being used in different different almost all the uh, service methods so we have extracted it out to a get web client uh, web, get web client method and we are referring this particular method here and passing the url base url in every uh, case so yeah that's what we are showing here and uh, yeah so now we are going to you know check in the confirming the uh, endpoint with this so what we uh, how, uh, how the endpoint is in uh, json placeholder is uh, slash post id slash post slash id uh, then slash comments so yeah that's what we are also trying to uh, create and get so that's pretty much of it mentioned earlier we are going to uh, run check the post part in uh, by calling our own web endpoint uh, the other one which we have created earlier uh, tutorial so uh, uh, the link of the that uh, tutorial can be found in the i button up there on the right side in the web uh, webflux spring webflux with boot so yeah, we are starting that one on port number 8080 and uh, our own service, current service will run on port number 8081. So that change we have made in application.properties and now uh, we are just checking uh, on the 8080. So as we can see, like uh, since the port is, has changed, so now we should uh, refer to the 8081 and uh, yeah, we can see the all the comments by passing the post ID. So basically here what is happening is we are passing we are hitting slash id uh, slash post id and we are actually making a call to the uh, internally our server is making a call to the through via web client it's making a call to the json placeholder uh, json placeholder say api endpoint that is slash post uh, slash post id slash comments so that's what it is doing and now uh, as i mentioned uh, what we have done is uh, we have added one more method called add post so this add post method in this method we would be passing the body part as request body and we are we have copied the model post model here because in our uh, earlier tutorial we had a different uh, uh, scenario where we are uh, trying to create new post and uh, showing all the posts so uh, with that that same endpoint create endpoint we are going to hit from the web client here so uh, that's pretty much of it and uh, yeah so our add post method will internally uh, via web client will internally hit uh, the uh, hit the web endpoint of uh, create method of uh, webflux mongodb project that is running on 8080 of uh, this uh, on this system <coughs> So with this we are very near to uh, complete this session so now we are going to test the new endpoint uh, wherein we are uh, making a call internal call to uh, 
via web client we are going to call the uh, mongodb uh, via our own endpoint which we created in earlier tutorial so that's what we are trying to do here so we are going to create another post from this uh, uh, with this body part of this url so once we click on send it should create another uh, another rec it should create another record in the mongodb uh, apart from the existing one so let's try to hit it so it seems things are fine here let's check in the find all we have the existing find all on 8080 port in that is our reactive mongodb uh, endpoint so yeah as we can see here we, we are having the last uh, record which is showing just now whatever we have added so with this uh, here ends our uh, exciting session on this I hope you guys have enjoyed the ride. So in the next session we are going to cover uh, create web clients with timeout. Uh, so till then, until then, bye bye have an, and have a nice life. And don't forget to subscribe our work, like it, share it and thanks for watching.